Greetings, Productive Programmer. Phoenix 1.7 has been officially released recently, and one of the most common issues that we're seeing is with forms, when you try to load them, they are giving you an error like this. And that's because forms now require the new to form syntax, which I'm gonna show you in this video how to convert this existing old styled form to use the new to form structure. So most likely you're used to using the let syntax here in the let keyword inside of your forms, but that has changed. So now you want to use the to form syntax. So I'm going to show you how to change this over. And this will be an error that you may be encountering when you're creating a new Phoenix project or you're trying to convert one of your existing projects. Now this tutorial will be a little different than the one that I teach in my course on ProductiveProgrammer.com under courses where I have my free crash course. The free crash course will actually walk you through building out the two form structure from the beginning and it'll include some additional information. But in this video, I'm going to show you very quickly how you can convert an existing form that you may have to this new two form structure. So this application is currently breaking because I'm using the deprecated let syntax here, but you'll see that even if I use the Atom version of the let and I come back to our application and refresh this, this is still not going to function. It's because it requires the two form. So we're going to convert this to the new to form structure. So to do this, what we need to do is we first need to mount the form. So I'm going to mount our form here. So I'm going to say form and I'm going to say to form. And then we will just pass some empty parameters here. So I'm not going to demonstrate how these parameters work here in this lesson, but I do actually show an example of that in my free crash course. So in this example, I'm just going to show you how to get this up and running and how to convert this form very quickly. So after you have your form available by using the to form function, what you can do is you can actually tie that here into your form. So instead of having to use let like we used to, we can get rid of this. And where this says for, let's go ahead and let's replace this with the form that we have now mounted. So we use the at symbol and we'll put the form here. And we can already see here that VS Code is telling us that we're going to have an error, but let's just go ahead and let's take a look at what this will look like. This might be the type of error that you're seeing on your end. So it says undefined function f. We no longer need to use the syntax here where we have the field. We're going to replace that. So now what we're going to do is we're also going to use the form that we've mounted. So we're going to use this at form syntax here in the field. And then what we're going to do is we're going to name our field. So I'm going to name this add amount. And now that we've done that, if we come back here and we go to our application, we'll see that it works again. So that's what you have to do to get your forms to render again. But if we try to add an amount here, we'll see that we start getting some errors. And the reason that we're getting these errors is because the handle events can also be changed. So the handle events can no longer pattern match here. It looks like now this form structure is being passed in a little bit different. So I no longer need to use the form name here directly. So what I can do is I can actually just take the add amount that I have in here and I can take this out and replace this to just have this part of the code. And I can do the same thing where I'm handling my validation. So I'll take here where I'm pattern matching and I will replace this entire parameters match to just be that area of the code. And so now when I come back to our code, our application is going to function again. So now we have a form which accepts the input and it also is doing the validation steps here inside of the handle event for the change for the Phoenix change event. And all of this is function again. So just to recap again, we had to change this form to no longer use the let syntax to use instead the to form function to mount a form. And then we added our form here to our simple form. And we also updated the field to use the app form syntax. And then inside of where we have our handle events, we were able to update our pattern matching to be a little bit simpler actually. So this new two form structure is actually very simple to use. However, the errors that you get can be a little bit unintuitive initially. But no worries, this will get updated soon within the community. So I think that things will become clearer. And as you get used to this new form syntax, you'll see that it's actually quite nice. Now, again, in the free crash course that I offer at ProductiveProgrammer.com, I'll actually talk a little bit more about the two form structure and I'll explain what these parameters are here a little bit more. So you get a little bit of a better idea about how to use the two form structure from building this application that you see here from the ground up instead of converting this existing old styled one over. So if you're interested in learning the official Phoenix 1.7 and live view, then I encourage you to come to ProductiveProgrammer.com and sign up for the free crash course that I offer.